There is a lot of big breaking news going on and the federal government itself is now warning of a quote crisis. All right, we are moving into the next phase and you need to be getting prepared ASAP. There's also tens of thousands of people, over 30,000 people evacuating in Canada right now due to massive fires. The National Guard has also been deployed as well. We're gonna get to all these stories today and it's just another solidification in your mind. It should be of why you should be getting prepared. And just an update on what I'm doing here, we are still en route to our bug out location. We are gonna be there very soon. We are very close and we are gonna start getting prepared to be totally off grid, all right? So you don't have to go that far, but you need to be getting ready because the federal government is warning of a quote crisis. And I just wanna remind everyone what happened because this is related as well. We just saw a massive cyber attack on one of the biggest cities in the US, Dallas. And things are so serious that this was affecting the 911 communications over the past week of all the crazy stuff that's been happening there. And even the federal government are now investigating, the FBI is investigating what's going on with the cyber attack that hit Dallas, Texas, and it is having real life consequences. I'm sure you saw all the stuff going on there and the 911 response, the police response was hindered while all of these things were going on in and around Dallas. We had factories blowing up. We had tons of events going on in and around Dallas over the past week. And we also had this nuclear incident drill in Houston. All right, so I just wanted to give an update on that because these things are all related. And now the federal government is warning that we are moving towards a quote, crisis, all right? And this happened a back in December, all right? Around Christmas time, there was over 20 million people that were under rolling blackouts on Christmas and Christmas Eve. This was happening in states like North Carolina, South Carolina. They were under massive rolling blackouts because the grid was being overloaded. We also saw total blackouts in the Northeast states like New York, Pennsylvania, Maine had total blackouts. They weren't even under rolling blackouts, but these states had rolling blackouts where they had their power shut off for blocks of time randomly throughout the day and this happened on christmas as well i made a whole report on this and duke energy really dropped the ball on this one and now we are getting a federal government warning that we could have a major crisis and stay tuned because we're going to get to the national guard has been deployed as well and these massive fires that are causing tens of thousands to evacuate in canada we will get to that in just a second too but the federal government the head of the federal energy reliability commission they were testifying and they are saying that we have a quote reliability crisis all right this just happened last week on may 5th i believe when they were testifying this is why it's so important to be prepared and to have alternative sources of energy have a gas generator have a solar system have different systems in case one fails have two have three generators all right three is like the fail safe for hitting the fan if you want to be truly prepared all right and i know that sounds crazy but if you have one breakdown you need a backup and then if that one breaks down you need one more backup and then you should have enough parts to fix this other one if it breaks down again all right but you can see here the united states this is a quote the united states is heading for a reliability crisis commented federal energy regulatory commissioner mark christine about the matter in a may 4th hearing before the senate energy and natural resources committee so it's may 4th not the 5th and he said quote i do not use this term crisis for melodrama but because it is an accurate description of what we are facing i think anyone would regard an increasing threat of system-wide extensive power outages as a crisis this is what the head of FERC, the federal energy regulatory commissioner is saying all right he's saying threat of system-wide extensive power outages and this is because our grid is collapsing and this is also because 
power plants are constantly being shut down. I was reading that the largest power plant in Pennsylvania was just shut down, or it's in the process of shutting down and it's gonna shut down this summer, all right? I was reading uh, three nuclear power plants, the last three ones in Germany were just shut down. Even nuclear is being shut down. And this is happening all over the world. The energy grid is being targeted. And we've also seen warning after warning for cyber attacks that could hit our energy grid as well. And he's not even talking about cyber attacks. He's just talking about reliability and having the load capacity to provide this energy to the country. And he's saying this load capacity is shrinking, it's dwindling at the same time that our needs are increasing. And he's saying, quote, threat of system-wide extensive power outages as a crisis. And this happened, this barely got any mainstream news coverage at all, except a few channels on YouTube were covering this. And I'm telling you, it was over 20 million people, it was around 25 million people were under rolling blackouts. And some of them, it was on Christmas, it was on Christmas Eve and Christmas. This was happening just five, six months ago in the United States. And he's warning that things could get a lot worse and we could see grid reliability issues. This is already happening in South Africa right now. They've been under massive rolling blackouts for years and it's causing massive economic problems. It's causing social unrest issues. It's causing farm and food issues as well because farmers need electricity to grow their crops, to heat their chicks, all right? A lot of farmers that grow chickens, they aren't able to have heat, heat lamps on and they just get shut off for eight hours and their chicks don't make it because they need the heat lamps to survive, all right, on an industrial scale. So these things are coming to America and they're already happening at small scales and he is warning that this could hit we could have system-wide extensive power outages in crisis and a lot of times in these situations when the grid is overloaded it can even damage the equipment to a point where they have to replace it and some of these replacements some of this special metal that's very it's highly conductive that's used in transformers and if that gets shut down or if that gets overloaded, overwhelmed, then we could be in a bad situation. And we'll get to these cyber attacks and this fire in just a second, so stick with me here. But this is related, all right? Oklahoma bans 13 different banks, some of the major banks like BlackRock, like JP Morgan, from managing their state funds and managing their state asset funds and investment funds they ban them from having their hands pretty much on any state money because they are saying these banks are engaging in energy boycotts. So they are purposely not giving loans to energy investment companies that could make the grid more reliable. There are all, all these projects, all these different ideas that people are trying to implement. And there are all these things that are already in place as well that are being shut down but a lot of new things are not getting funding as well and the banks are purposely banning them and Oklahoma is saying, fine, we will ban you from managing our investment funds and our state capital. So this is some of the biggest banks in the country, BlackRock, JP Morgan, there's a list of 13 different ones that they banned and they are targeting energy investments specifically and not giving them any money and not investing any of the money into state energy companies and state energy reliability. All right, this is all on purpose. This is a plan. Even JP Morgan head, Jamie Dimon came out last month and he was saying that banks need to seize people's property for these uh, bank projects that they want to implement. So they are on board to fund certain projects but not ones that will make the energy grid more reliable, right? They are boycotting that and they are on board to fund projects that will take your land from you, right? And they're saying the government needs to help the banks take the land for these certain projects because they've been trying to fund them for years and they're not able to get them done, all right? That's what we are dealing with right now. So we've also had a multitude of cyber attacks. I gave an update on Dallas, 
but multiple other cities, states, and institutions have been hit as well. So the National Guard has been deployed for a massive cyber attack on Montana State University. And they're essentially having to rebuild their whole network and infrastructure for Montana State. And a lot of their things have been offline. I brought up how dangerous it is, how schools keep getting targeted and it's, it's school district after school district after school district. Rochester, New York right now has been under a massive cyber attack for months. And this is affecting like school age children. This isn't even a college. This is Montana State University attacked right now. And the National Guard has been deployed. But Rochester, New York, they have been having problems for months. And this is, a te- this is affecting school age children. And what happens when these kids aren't able to go to school what happens to the economy who's watching these children and they could potentially shut down the economy or a giant portion of it of people that have to work and their kids have to go to school and they can't do it all right and now they can't go to work because they have to stay home and watch their kids because their school has been shut down from a cyber attack. So these things are increasing in frequency and now the National Guard has been deployed in Montana to help rebuild their network and rebuild their infrastructure because things are that bad there. This also happened in Oakland, California. They had the National Guard deployed a few months ago, I reported on because of a massive cyber attack and they've essentially had to rebuild their infrastructure as well and other parts of california are being hit as well so the san bernardino county's sheriff office has paid 1.1 million dollars to ransomware hackers who breached their department these things are happening more frequently and you can bet that it could potentially hit your city next all right what happens when these are massive cities oakland dallas these are affecting millions and millions of people and it could be bigger it could be attacks on the banking system we know that there are all these pushes for a central digital currency and what happens if there's a massive cyber attack event on the banks and the only solution is to give you a new currency that is protected is backed by the federal government so if this bank goes under this bank collapses this bank gets cyber attacked all the funds are locked up well everything's just going to be backed by the federal government now so if it gets hacked it's whatever they will just create new money and they will back all of your money no matter what and speaking of money we just saw a massive ransomware attack on one of the biggest payment processors in the u.s as well avid exchange so if this is a quasi banking like institution like paypal they process payments for online retailers it's like stripe something along those lines and they are getting hit as well they could be taken out we're going to see all of the little ones taken out and there's only going to be big conglomerates left like jp morgan we just saw jp morgan absorb first republic bank in california completely absorbed it the feds seized it and then sold it to JP Morgan, just like they want the feds to seize land for JP Morgan as well, seize your land, all right? So they seized everyone's bank account here and sold it to JP Morgan. These things are happening right now. They're gonna swallow up all of the little banks, all of the little ones first, and then only the big ones are gonna be left, and then they could potentially get hit with these cyber attacks, all right? And just an update on DISH Network, and then we will get to these fires in just a second. DISH has lost 81,000 customers. I've been updating people on this DISH Network hack because this is massive. This is like Verizon being hacked for months and people can't access their service. They've lost 81,000 customers and $30 million from these cyber attacks that DISH has been dealing with for the past three or four months that I've been reporting on. And this is huge. This is a huge communications, telecommunications company that has satellites. These are American company satellites and they are being cyber attacked and hit and being taken offline for months. And they've lost a ton of customers, a ton of subscribers due to these attacks. And now let's get into this news of evacuations happening 
in Canada right now, over 30,000 people have been ordered to mandatory evacuate. And this is happening in Alberta, Canada. And this is due to a massive wildfire. It says they are, quote, leaving behind all they own. And this is exactly why I was talking about my last video that you need to have a bug out plan, an evacuation plan. Even if you live out in the middle of nowhere, you were already bugged out. How do you bug out of this location? What if there's a massive fire? What if there's an emergency event? You need to know where to go in these events. And what do you do with your animals? What if you have farm animals? A lot of people, they have horses and cows and they end up leaving them there. They end up just leaving their horses there because they don't know what to do. A lot of times they just open the gate and let their horses run free. And sometimes they live and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they never see them again and they don't know what happened to them, all right? So you don't wanna be stuck in these situations. They can happen to anyone. If you remember a few years ago, remember all these mysterious California fires that were hitting these very high net worth neighborhoods, all right? All of these top celebrity neighborhoods were burning and they thought they were safe. They're like, hey, I'm living in the Hollywood Hills over here. They were burning, all right? All these top celebrities were posting, oh, we're evacuating. We're getting out of here because of the fires. You probably remember this a few years ago. So this could happen to anyone, all right? Even if you think you live in this bubble of Hollywood or you live in this super nice area, oh, this can't happen here. These evacuations could happen and you need to know where to go. And a lot of times the highways are going to be clogged. You are not gonna be able to get out if you wait because a lot of people are gonna wait till the last second until they are told to evacuate and the highways are gonna be clogged. This happened in Florida many times, all right? Many times throughout hurricanes. I remember especially a few years ago, there was a really bad hurricane and all over the news, it was people, they tried to evacuate and they ran out of gas and they just sat on the side of the highway for the hurricane or the they just got clogged up and then they ran out of gas, all right? They just sat there for days. So make sure you are prepared. Make sure you have an evacuation plan, a bug out plan. Make sure you have a generator. They're warning of grid crisis. They're saying that the entire grid, we could have system wide collapse of the grid. That is serious and you don't wanna be subjected to that. So try to get off grid as possible. Try to have alternative energy sources as much as possible. Even a tiny little solar backpack, a solar notebook, even just a little tiny solar block that you can charge your phone with that costs $20 at the camping store. These things could be essential and could save your life one day. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit it up down there to help get this video out to more people. This is important information. More people need to be prepared. That's the point of this channel to get news out to people so they are prepared and they are ready. So hit it up down there for me, please. I really appreciate that. I'm super blessed. You guys have already hit me to 83K. Unbelievable. I'm super blessed for all the new people subscribing. And I hope you guys have a big old blessed day.